Hi there, Miss Jill here, and I am excited to start um, Summer Sunday School with you. So um, this summer, Sunday School is not going to be in person um, because we can all, so this way we can all worship together in the sanctuary, which I'm really excited about. But I didn't want to not do anything for Sunday School, so I'm really excited to share with you um, a special curriculum, um, an illustrated compassion. Um, it's all about learning to love like God loves. So the way God loves us, trying to live that in our lives. And to begin, we're going to be learning about compassion and how it is shown um, in the Hebrew scriptures. So the first books in the Bible, the Old Testament. So today, for our very first lesson, we are going to be talking about um, Abraham and Sarah's guest. So um, if you want to pull up a Bible of yours at home, you don't need to. I'm going to read the story in a little bit. Um, but if you'd like to follow along, um, go ahead and grab your Bible and then head to Genesis chapter 18. And we're going to be looking at chapter verses 1 through 8. So um, to begin, I want to... Um, ask you to think about ways um, a friend might make you feel welcome in their house. Um, so what are some things people do? And maybe your friends do this when you come over to visit or to go over for a sleepover. What are some things your friends do to make you feel at home, to make you feel welcome? Maybe they open the door for you and invite you in. Maybe they offer you a drink or a snack when you get there. Um, maybe they let you pick what movie you want to watch if you're going to watch a movie. Maybe they let you pick what toys you want to play with, what activities you want to do. Um, so those are like some things. I bet you can think of maybe some other things that people might do um, to show that someone is welcome. And there is a word that... Um, means kind of welcoming people and showing that they are welcome. And that is called hospitality. Have you heard that word before? Have you heard of hospitality? So um, we can show hospitality by greeting other people, um, by greeting other people by names. In fact, in our church, we have a hospitality kind of committee or group that um, they make sure to welcome people when they come to church. They open the door for them. Perhaps you've um, come to our church and Mr. Hall has greeted you and made sure to give you um, some fruit snacks or some candy um, as soon as he um, sees you. And that is hospitality. That is letting people know that they are welcome, that you're glad to see them. So um, as I said, in today's story, we're going to learn a little bit more about compassion and we're going to learn about hospitality. So um, here is the story from Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 through 8. So it was a hot afternoon. Abraham was sitting at the entrance of, entrance of his tent near the oak trees when God appeared to him. And here's how it happened. Abraham looked up suddenly and saw three men standing nearby. He ran out to them and bowed and said, please don't just pass by. Let water be brought wash your feet, rest for a while under the tree. I'll bring you bread. You can rest and then you can pass on. Since you have come here, I'll serve you. They said, yeah, do it. He hurried into the tent and told Sarah, get out our best flour and knead it and make cakes. Then he ran to the herd of animals, chose a very tender calf and gave it to a servant who prepared it for the guest. Abraham brought all the food they had prepared and set it before the guest. He stayed close by under the trees while they ate, kind of trying to make sure um, that they were comfortable as they ate and rested. So as we think about this story, I have a couple questions I'd like you to ponder. The first is, how do you think Abraham felt when he first saw those three men? Was he excited? Um, was he like maybe kind of busy and like, oh, this is the last thing I want to do is to welcome these three men. But then he remembered that we should show compassion. We should show hospitality. How do you think he felt? How would you felt if three people showed up on your doorstep looking maybe tired and hungry and hot? Okay. The next question, how do you think the men felt when Sarah and Abraham showed them compassion by making them food and giving them a pl nice place to rest and giving them something to drink? How did those three men feel, do you think? The next question is, if you were Abraham and Sarah, what would you have done in this situation? Would you have done what they did? Would you have invited the three men inside and told them to sit down? Here, take my seat, take a load off, and let me get you something to eat and drink. Would you have done that, or would you just maybe let the men w walk on by? Next, if you were going to make someone your favorite meal to show hospitality, what would you make? And then finally, I want you to think um, if you can remember a time when you did something kind for someone you had just met for the first time, or maybe if you're having trouble thinking about that, was there ever a time when someone you met just met 
did something really kind for you. See, this story is a beautiful reminder that when we show compassion and kindness to other people, we are showing compassion and kindness to God. Um, so when we like reflect on this story and think about what Sarah and Abraham did, um, maybe like this can help us to change the way we see people in our life. Um, and especially people maybe we never met before, people we don't know very well and what that means, like what our behavior towards them, how we act towards them is saying not only to them, but to God. So today um, I want you, and then the week ahead, um, if you've got the at home Sunday school kit, there are some coloring page of correspondence story. Um, go ahead and color those and maybe reflect on some of the questions that I asked and reflect on this story. Um, and think about ways that you can show hospitality. And I'm gonna encourage you and give you an extra challenge to think of ways that as a church, we can show hospitality. And if you come up with any great ideas, I would love to hear how you think our church can be um, really hospitable and really welcoming. What are some things that we're maybe we're doing good um, that we should keep doing? What are some things that maybe we could try to make, let people know that we want them to come be a part of our church family and to worship with us? I'm going to close in prayer. It was wonderful um, coming back to Sunday school this way again with you. Dear God, thank you for Abraham and Sarah and the ways they teach us to be compassionate by caring for people we may not even know. Help us to show your love through others, for others, through our hospitality, by giving generously of what we have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have an amazing week. I will see you back here next week. And we are going to be, let me look ahead. We are going to be talking about um, courage. Um, in particular, we're going to be talking about she, Shiparaz and Puha's courage. Um, so check back next week to learn more.